Live look from our Wells Fargo Sky Camera. The lights twinkling over downtown. We're still a good hour plus away from sunrise. It's cloudy at the airport. It's 41 and there are some cold pockets out there. There's also some fog, especially to the north. Uh, Shahel is right now reporting zero visibility. Been looking for fog in the valley. Not yet. And we may not, but we do have some low clouds that are filling in across the region. So I'm not sure that we're going to see that much of a sunrise this morning. 34 in Hillsboro, 30 King City. So there are some cold pockets there. Woodland checking in with 33. Could be a little frost uh, in some situations here west of the Cascades. Tillamook and Astoria, some of the cooler locations right now at the coast uh, below freezing. And of course, we hop over the Cascades and there's marginally cold air, right? 25 in John Day, Burns in the mid 20s and Baker City right now checking in with 17. Radar obviously clean here across the area. Future cast does show the morning cloud cover banking up against the uh, the Cascade foothills here. So the Willamette Valley will likely see some low clouds and some patchy fog. We'll roll the clock in the late morning that melts away and today should be a really nice day. So happy to share with that uh, share that news with you that today looks like a day that finished just like Wednesday or, or Friday did nearly as nice as Thursday, right? That was something. Uh, and then we go into tomorrow and I think we set the stage for another, you know, with a clear night ahead, the fog will likely be a little more widespread tomorrow morning. That will lift. We'll probably see a little sun, but already our next weather makers beginning to move in and that'll throw some high cloudiness our way. So Sunday probably won't be as sunny as today, but nonetheless, both days this weekend generally look pretty good at the beach today. Brief morning clouds, otherwise a partly cloudy to mostly sunny day with highs in the 50s. Despite the cold start, nice day there. Brief morning clouds in the Columbia River Gorge, otherwise a partly to mostly sunny day there as well with high temperatures in the low 50s and a light offshore breeze through the gorge and hopping over the Cascades again. Brief morning clouds in central Oregon, otherwise a mostly sunny day with highs in the mid to upper 40s. And despite the cold start uh, in Baker City, for instance, you're going to get up into the mid 40s today. Pendleton gets to 46 and you can see future cast has most of the I-5 corridor in the lower 50s this afternoon. 53 Portland and Corvallis, Salem at 52. So. A good looking weekend here. Morning clouds, then mostly sunny here in Portland. I've got us at 53 today down near freezing tomorrow morning. So I think tomorrow will actually wind up being a little colder than this morning. Morning fog, the fog lifts, but the next system is already throwing some cloud cover our way tomorrow afternoon. So that's why I say that Sunday probably won't be quite as sunny. And then the big question. The snowflake that everybody's been seeing on their weather app and on their 7 day forecast. And of course, we've talked uh, a lot here at KGW News. It's still February. It's still winter. So let's talk about this as we start next work week. That next weather maker moves in. We've got rain. It will start as rain late in the day or Sunday evening, and we'll see showers on and off on on Monday. As this cold Gulf of Alaska system drops across the Pacific Northwest, it will bring lowering snow levels and cold enough air that even here in Portland, we are likely to see a changeover to snow and, I, and that's snow even on the valley floor in downtown Portland. We will see snowflakes in the air. Will it be cold enough and will there be enough moisture hanging around to actually produce anything on the ground in Portland? The answer to that is we're still not 100% sure. Yeah. Probably not, but the models are still kind of hedging a little bit that th there could very well be a dusting on Tuesday morning okay. on the valley floor. Still a couple of things to work. I, I know we sit here every time, but it, as you know, forecasting low it's elevation still tough in Portland deal. is not an easy thing to do. Let's give us another day or two, but I, I would say that Tuesday morning is still something that should be on everybody's radar for something to watch. Yeah, we know you'll be watching it closely. Yes. Thanks.